the story of the day yesterday here in Los Angeles was, in fact, uh, the signing to a new contract of one of the best players the NFL has ever seen on the defensive side of the ball and certainly the best defensive player in the game today. And when he said he was at peace, what did I tell you? I told you Les is going to get this thing done. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Because uh, if the picks can be effed, so can the cap. That's my two cents. I, I'm not a math guy. I'm not a capologist. But joining us on the Mercedes-Benz Vans phone line is the general manager of the Los Angeles Rams, Les Snead. How are you doing, Les? I'm good. How about you, Rich? I'm good. So uh, was more Aaron Donald on the McVay wedding registry? Did you get that instead of a gravy boat for the McVeigh's? Oh, yeah. Les? You know, you look at the registry and like, okay, what, what's Sean really going to do with like <laughs> this type of spoon or this, you know, fork to you know, right. stick in the pot roast? So yeah. let's do Aaron Donald instead. <laughs> Wise choice, Les. I think that's a win-win. We call that a win-win for, for everybody. Um, so how long has this been in the making, Les, this contract? I, I mean, this, this, this has been in the making uh, right, I mean, since, the, since the, uh, probably the moment after the, the Super Bowl. And that I know, I know, you know, AD had been discussing whether if he ever won his first, would, it, would he retire, would he not? Uh, so we've obviously been in communication with Aaron, with Todd France, athletes first, you know, probably, probably a couple of days after the Super Bowl up until uh, yesterday. Okay. And so when he mentioned on a podcast recently on uh, Brandon Marshall's show that he would be at peace with his career, um, was that a message in your direction? Was th- were things going a little sideways or anything like that at the time? Or no, you know, I, I, you know, I think at that point in time. Uh, Right, the momentum of the negotiations were were in a very good spot. Okay. I, I do think he, I think it was probably the timing of the podcast. Maybe they they asked a big picture question on, on retirement, and and I think I think AD probably laid out you know probably his his reasons for thinking about it, which uh, so really with with Aaron and, I, and I'll say this, he's obviously I mean, one of the best defensive players to play the game, things like that. But I do think. Aaron's one of those players when, right, he really wants to take a look inside and and figure out if he can still be the best defensive player. And I, th- I think he did that soul searching and figured out and thought that he still could be, and that's why he decided to, to come back and play. And in terms of coming back and playing, the contract appears to be the same number of years left that he had uh, anyway. It's just a, a highly enhanced uh, monetarily uh, contract. Do you? What's the general sense that you have for that third year, where he'll have a decision to either walk away or make thirty million bucks? Which way he might even be leaning, less? You know, I think it, I think again we're, we'll take it one step at a time, year by year, and I, I think that's a reasonable number uh, to let's call it to start and to have this contract, and then at that point, uh, after each year, we'll, we'll sit down and discuss, hey. You know what's best. What's what's Aaron? And at this point, it's in Aaron's it's in Aaron's hand, right? Of, of how long he wants to continue playing. But I do think big picture, Aaron does think that right now in this situation, our situation, the Los Angeles Rams, based on the core that we have, you know, we all have the vision of kind of making the most of the the window we're in presently. Les Snead, general manager of the Rams here on the Rich Eisen Show. You just mentioned the window that you have presently right now and how uh, it works not just at the timing to for, for Donald, but maybe for, for you with the team. I guess I'll ask the general question that fans are wondering. How do you have room under the cap for all the signings that you have, including Donald? Uh, Les, how does, how, how does this work? <laughs> how does, you know what? The, the, the neat thing is the, the cap, the, you know, the cap is, is – we gotta love the cap. I think it helps the NFL, right? It helps everyone in the NFL uh, be competitive. There is there is ways to be creative, to get under, and things like that. So I, I think our philosophy right now is is in in the situation we're in, in our window, right? Aaron Donald, very very important. So there's no better money to spend uh, on the defensive player or any player other than him. And at that point, there there are sacrifices that we do have to make in other places. And, and, and I know you had mentioned it earlier, right? The, the F, the picks and, and things like that. But there, when we do someone like Aaron, there is that moment where we have to do a really good of drafting a player like Greg Gaines, who maybe no one on your radio show or even in your studio knows who he is, right? Homegrown in LA played at Washington. I think we drafted him in the fourth round. 
but he's been starting uh, beside Aaron, you know, starting last year and will start this year. So we have to do our part in, in making sure uh, we draft and develop uh, those type of players and, and they come in and contribute. So um, you're able to fit it under the cap, under the window that you currently have. Is Cooper Cup next, Les, for you? Yeah, Cooper Cup. You know, he is uh, he is next on the list. Okay. Are you so – and, and nailed that. <laughs> and so what when do you think that something like that gets done next uh, it, with him? you i would you know our intention is to uh come to as you said earlier a win-win right uh we'd love to do it before camp we'd love to do it uh sooner than possible but in these types of situations right when there's an, an element of right a player under contract we we feel like he deserves a raise we want to get an extension but with that there's a lot of variables like there's objective uh uh variables there's speculative variables so sometimes it takes a little more time it's not a microwavable situation to to be creative and come up with a win-win for both cooper and and club so that like cooper can be rewarded club can continue being successful in the moment and in the long term so then what is the window what do you got? What 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 what's your idea of a window? And I know that's a dicey question to ask a general manager, but I'm going to ask it anyway. You mentioned a couple times it, a window. It's a very dicey question. I, I I can say this: we're a very boring organization. Where we're we're kind of we're kind of main thing to main thing, one step at a time, really one game at a time, one phase at a time. Uh, so that's one thing. So we, we, right now we're going to focus on on finishing up. Uh, our our mini camp, then we'll focus on training camp, then we'll get ready to 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 face a very very tough opponent in the Buffalo Bills, and, and we'll keep it that way. But I I I, I can tell you there's this uh, you know from a bigger conceptual uh, window is I do think as long as we have a quarterback like Matthew Stafford and and contributors like Aaron, contributors like Cooper Cup right in their prime prime playing their best football. Uh, we definitely have a chance to be in the mix every year. And is there still is there money left for say like Odell if Odell wants to come back? And you know, obviously, uh, Sean's been on this show saying he'd like him back. Um, if I'm not mistaken, he crashed Sean's wedding this weekend. If I'm not mistaken, you know, too. there's only one person who could crash that wedding, but boy, Odell did it in a very, very you know, Odell OBJ like way, right? Uh, he just had the personality, the swag to pull that off, and it, it was cool. It was really cool to see. Because Odell, oh, it, it was a really, really good uh, time together with him. I, I think it, I think we all felt that, uh, you know, the situation for him and him helping us, it was just a, a neat time to, to grow and bond and, and him coming back and seeing some of his players. But, yes, we've definitely talked with OBJ. I know his situation, right, based on the injury and, and, and how much he can, can't play, are going to affect, I would call it this year's, contract maybe the year one of a contract but we've always uh had a plan a vision uh that if odell would like to be back uh, we definitely welcome him home so like again i guess and I, not to get too deep in the weeds aaron donald hasn't taken up all the money is what you're saying in short order right he hadn't taken up all the money but i did tell aaron yesterday that he's starting to get paid a little more like the rock than he is a football player. I know he, you know, he signed with with Kanye, and he, I call it that's his NIL group. You know, and he's, he's got some vision, so he's getting close to the rock money. So, uh, but you know what? We're we're definitely Aaron's a big part of it, and mm-hmm. a big part of the vision of hey, not just being himself, but also right. Aaron did make some sacrifices in this contract, even though he is well paid, and as I said a minute ago, getting paid a little more closer to the rock. Uh, but he did make some sacrifices uh, to right uh, allow us to do uh, our part in, in building a team that can continue contending. Well, I mean, you've reset a market at the position, or you could say Donald did it, and you you just paid him accordingly, right? Um, and then you've got Cup, who you say is going to be paid, or at least the the plan is to 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 make that happen, despite the variables that you mentioned. Uh, does it cross your mind at all, Les Snead, that uh, the team that you beat in the NFC championship game that also happens to reside in your division has to pay their top defensive lineman and wide receiver as well, and you could set a market in, in a way that might cause an issue for them? Does that ever cross your mind, Les Snead? It, you know, d- deep in the bowels, you know, we, we're definitely competitive, and, you know, like we'd like to, we'd like to bruise the uh, – 
the enemy as, as much as possible. But I, I think in those situations, right, we're, we're really focused on, on Aaron. We're really focused internally on us. And if we do this with Aaron, right, what's, you know, what's the second, third, and fourth, and fifth level uh, domino effects from that contract and how do we work around it? And, and I'm sure – I'm sure the Niners are doing the same themselves. They're they're focusing on themselves, trying to build the best Niners team as possible. So that right when we do battle twice a year, it's it's still one of those. Hey, it's it's one of those 15 round heavyweight fights mm-hmm. for sure. All right, but well, so before I let you go, uh, how did Odell crash the wedding? You said he he did it in Odell fashion. What what happened at the McVay well, nuptials? I, here's what I, I guess crashing the wedding means you showed up with an out an invite. Mm. Now I can tell you that as just a guest, right uh, of the wedding who didn't necessarily have to crash it and probably wouldn't have the swag to Understood. crash it. Yes, you know, all of a sudden it's it's like Odell. The, it was a great wedding, really really cool, uh, cool. I call it, it the the core in the setting was unbelievable, but the 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 what made this one probably unique mm-hmm. is. I mean, there's there's a lot of head coaches, right, at this wedding that had once worked with Sean or, or Sean worked for. There's a lot of football people. And then there's also friends and family, right, from, from past and things like that. But mm-hmm. from this, let's call it this football uh, kind of game, all of a sudden, you know, there's Odell and he shows up and he's right in the mix. And, and it's like, it, it's like, oh, it's, why not? Why not? So you didn't really know yes. you crashed the wedding. Right. It was just, hey, cool to see Odell there. Cool to uh, uh, give him a hug. I know I, I know you know Kara, my wife. The yes. last time we had seen uh, Odell, right, he was expecting, uh, uh, he, was, he was probably on the bus ride to the parade. And, and, and that, that parade was bittersweet for him based on the injury he had had. You know, a couple of days before, so he he was not in the he was not a you know in 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 the highest of high spots. But uh, to see Kara and OBJ connect and, and, and check out baby pictures and things like that, it, 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 it feels like you know, it's phenomenal. Like he was supposed to be there. Yeah, the cake looked great too. Uh, did you have a piece of the trophy or a piece of the uh, Rams logo, or is it the, was it just the cake was the trophy and the Rams logo was just the plate that it was on? The wedding cake. It, it, you know, I, I actually think there was two, two desserts going. I, I didn't, <laughs> didn't eat any of the desserts. I, I, I tried of course to watch not. Die, but I can't tell you when I saw the pictures of the cake. Yes, I probably would have been tempted. You know, I, I would have had to. Looks I would have like, had to at least you know try that. It looks like it's chocolate inside. That's what it looked like. It looked chocolate inside when McVeigh took a but bite it was out of it. One of those where uh, that's what I said. It was. They, there's a chance that the McVeigh's. Uh, Maybe maybe wasted a little money on a lot of food and cake because the, the neat thing is everyone there was having a blast because it was a little bit of like this football reunion hmm. and then it was it was the Miami Miami of Ohio reunion oh. it was the Merritt High School reunion it was Veronica's friend so there was these different right gangs of, of reunions going on and, and everyone was having a blast so I do think there was some money spent on some really, really nice food that didn't get eaten. Well, i got to tell you what. At, at least, uh, you know, uh, there was no cap uh, clearly on the uh, the catering. Um, so yeah, he handled Sean, that. Sean did inform us because, boy, did there was some flowers at this wedding. I mean, there was some flowers. And, and Sean did say, I'll never tell you how much we paid. For <laughs> <laughs> he went over the cap. Maybe that's why. He needs to keep it yeah, at himself. Yeah, he went over the cap. Uh, hey, man, congrats on getting Aaron Donald done. He must be a happy guy. He must be a very, very happy guy. And I'm sure that that's something that you want resonating in the locker room, too, is that you do what you do here, you get paid. That's it. I think that's neat. You know? Yeah, if you, if you I mean, it, I, and I, I mentioned that to him yesterday, Rich. I mean, I mean, from Pitt to where he's from now, but I, you, you, there would be, you, we would never be surprised that this, that he became this type of player if, if everyone was able to observe, and I call this his boring lifestyle of the 300 and let's call it 50 days in between those games, mm. how much he basically dedicates hours in the day to, to getting better at his trade. And it's a pace that not many people could keep. So he, he, he definitely earned it along the way. Same to you, Les. Say hi to Kara. Let's connect soon. Enjoy the next uh, couple days of uh, – of- of uh, camp and uh, and then the summer before. Um, when is the ring ceremony? When's that? When you got uh, that? I, you know what? I, I I definitely I haven't been given an invite yet, but I, I think <laughs> you're on the list. In, in in later July, but uh, okay. I'm not sure there's a hard date yet. 
Well, I'm going to crash that like OBJ, okay? That'll be great. You It'll know what? That's a good one to crash, Rich. I look maybe, for... the, maybe, you know, maybe there'll be a leftover piece of jewelry. You never uh, know. I'm looking for cake. That's all. I'll just take some cake. That's it. I'll just do that. Uh, take care of yourself, Les. You be well. Thanks okay. for calling. Thanks, Thanks for having me. You know, anytime. Come on. Let's need here on the Rich Eisen Show. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.